Republic. Now, let's look at the Congo Republic. You can see Congo Republic here. Congo Republic is called Congo Brazzaville, and Congo DRC is called Congo Kinshasa. You see the two capitals very close to each other. Congo Republic is in South Saharan Africa, and precisely is within the Central African area. This country is called very, very low in the ease of doing business with a population of 5.2 million people. It is a lower middle income country, scoring 39.5% on the ease of doing business, ranking 180. That is very bad. Let's look at the country in detail. This country have a coastline. You can see the coastline here. Can you see? A coastline of about 169 kilometers of access to water. It's bordering South Atlantic Ocean and it's lying between Angola and Gabon. You can see right on top Gabon and right below Angola, beside the Congo DRC that is also around it. It's a predominantly Christian country, 33 Catholic, Protestant about 19%. I went to extend revival 2023, Muslim are less than 2% of this country. Population is about 5.4 million people. Urbanization level of 46.2%. Agri products produced in Congo Republic include cassava, sugarcane, oil palm fruit, cassava leaves, banana plantain, root and tuba, game meat vegetable, mango, and guava. Industrial products, petroleum extraction, cement, lumber, green, sugar, <coughs> palm oil. These are the different products, both manufactured goods and agreed products that you can find in Congo Republic. But remember again that whenever you look at countries like this, and you see a product being produced in that country, it gives an indication of two things. And I try to emphasize this all the time. It's a sign that there is a market, and it's a sign that there is a competition. There's a market, most likely the people in the country are consuming it, so you can sell it there, you can export it, but there's a competition, meaning there are people on ground you're going to meet if you go into that market. So you need to be conscious of the competition already existing and see if you have a competitive advantage in such an environment. It's a lower middle income country. Even though in 2009, the per capita went below 1,000, but it's still categorized as a lower middle income country. Organization 46.2, literacy level 77, inflation is double digit 11.35. The household consumption component of the GDP is 47.6%. The composition of the GDP include industry. Industry because there are a lot of mining activity going on in this country. So industry 51%, services 39, and agree 9.3. Just like I predicted severally, the fact that it's a lower middle income country means that more than 50 percent in some cases 60 percent of the population are usually below 6, 25 years in the case of this country about 59 percent of the population are below 25 years thanks for watching kindly like comment share and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel for more informative videos on african trade